sign with LinkedIn using open ID connect which is the new method uh, for using sign in with LinkedIn so LinkedIn provides an endpoint that you ping if with an OR token right uh, you will get the details of the of the person right so steps of the video uh, will log into the developer.linkedin.com you will add the new product which they have in their platform and then we'll generate a uh, token and then ping that API um, and, and then see the response right so let's get started so first you can log into developer.linkedin.com uh, so and create an application so once you log in you will see this kind of a page uh, you can create an app or already if you have apps you can go to my app so I already have an app and I will link a video in the description which shows how to create uh, an app right so this is the app and uh, then I have to go to the products so there are a lot of products in their API platform uh, shared with uh, on LinkedIn sign in with LinkedIn so this is the old one I think this they will stop uh, supporting after some time this is the new one right and uh, there are other products so once you will log in you might see this in the additional available products so just request access if you do this will start showing up here okay so uh, once it starts showing up here for me it was just instant you can view docs just to understand more of how this works and then you can also view endpoints so for now the endpoints uh, are very simple uh, just you can uh, click this endpoint ping this endpoint and get the user details uh, also if you want to read more you can uh, read uh, exactly it's it's no, uh, nothing but just uh, just hitting the API uh, with the token right the, with the uh, access token to get the details and this access token has all the scoping all the expiry everything right so now only thing for us is to generate this access token so how to generate it for my account it's very simple I can go to this OAuth tools and uh, I can just create a token right here uh, I need to select the scopes right what scope this token has so I'll say email address open ID uh, profile light profile member email etc whatever scopes I want if you don't want to give scope uh, you can uh, remove that as well for now I will remove uh, nothing so I'll just request token when I request token I uh, this generate and, and sometimes it will ask me to log into the uh, to my LinkedIn account and this you should understand uh, we are just generating token for my profile right so I have create uh, LinkedIn has created this token so we can just go ahead and uh, and then just put this token as bearer token in the in the uh, in the token right now the URL that we want is uh, URL if I want to look at is this URL very simple uh, LinkedIn uh, api.linkedin.com slash user info and in the token I have added this token I'll just send it and voila uh, I get the details right whatever the token uh, details the token has uh, will will get so if the token is incorrect so I'll just put a wrong token I get uh, nothing here right so it's very important to to uh, get the right token so yeah this is it very simple um, just add this product and generate the token uh, from your dashboard ping the API you will you will see all the response in real scenario you will ask the user to create the uh, OAuth token for them right whatever what whatever access they want to grant to your app suppose you are implementing LinkedIn sign in with LinkedIn in your application you will redirect to LinkedIn user will choose what access they want to give you like how we saw in in when we were generating the token mm. and uh, then uh, you will take that token hit that api from your server and get this data and, and store and then however you want to implement so yeah this is a small video just to show how you can ping the linkedin api with the access token to get the details you want yeah so let me know how you like this video and for more such videos please like share and subscribe